Just for fun, I'll make another propeller using this cork bottle top. Now this particular one's got little plastic um, ribs all the way around the inside to hold the cork into the plastic top. So I should be able to just mark two opposite sides, so that saves me measuring. So we need to cut a slot on it, on each side that we can push some cardboard propellers into. So if we start there and go down to there somewhere. And turn it around. And do the same from there down to there somewhere. Trying to align where the centre is by eye. Bit of a guess. But we need to make a hole in the centre as well. So that we can push it onto the shaft of the motor. Just cut my propeller out of a piece of card. I'll cut it in half and then push it into the slots when I've cut them. Got the mains power off at the moment, so I can't use all my lights. Um, but we should be able to see well enough. So I just need to cut this a bit. Same on the other side. So that's our basic propeller. Might need to glue those in to stop them flying out when it's going. I need to drill a small hole down the middle to go on the shaft of the motor. And I guess I can probably cut the propeller off about here somewhere. If you've got a proper drill press, then that'd be a much better way of doing it to make sure you get the hole at the right angle, or straight to be exact. But I don't have one, so we'll just have to put up with it being possibly off-centre and out of balance. That won't matter just for the toy car that we're going to use it for. So 
that's our propeller. Right, ready to test it. We'd better just give it a test run with a new propeller. There we go. A cardboard and cork propeller.